lot. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's going to be a short video today because um, I've got the Micro Air Plus from MXR and it is essentially a boost with a bit of a dirty gain on it as well, which is super duper awesome. Now today, I'm just going to show you how boost works uh, and how I use it. Today I'm going into this uh, Laney amp behind me. It's a Cub 15, um, and it is an absolute beauty. I've got it set, so it's sort of, you know, a little bit hairy. If you dig in, but if you play sort of nice and quiet. This HX1 for a little bit of the light if I feel like I need it. There's a whole uh, video on the, the Cub Amp here, so uh, go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, so, the way a boost works is it increases the level of your uh, guitar, and that's about it. Now, you might do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is because you can get more dirt. Now, really nice, beautiful tube uh overdrive out of your amp which is what we're doing with the laney amp today we're going to squeeze as much gain out of the front end as we possibly can and uh the other thing you might need it for is if you're running really really long cables you might want to stick it at the uh, front of your chain if you're using a really long cable on stage or you might even want to stick it at the end of your chain if you have got a really long sort of running lead to your amp or if you want to push it through a heap of, if you've got 28 guitar effect pedals, you might want to push it through that as well. So that's what the micro amp is for. There's a number of different ways you can use it, but this is how I use it. So uh, with everything set at 12 o'clock, except for the gain, of course, it's down to zero, so it's not giving us any extra volume. It just sort of adds a little bit of liveliness and a little bit more bottom end. But essentially, it's not doing much at all. It's certainly not increasing the volume. And that alone, that's enough for me. Just that little bit of extra shine on everything. I think it's probably the buffer working in there. So what this is going to do now, so that's the, the valves working in the Laney amp. The more signal you push into them, now these are already pretty hot pickups, these noiseless uh, hot pickups from Fender. The more guitar signal we push into the front of the valves, uh, into the gain section of the amp behind me, the more harmonics we're going to get, the more distortion and overdrive we're going to get, and it's going to sound a lovely. It's already really starting to drive the valves. It's also giving me a lot 
lot more sustain now as well. Alright, let's go all the way around to 3 o'clock. In fact, I'll leave my guitar up while I'm playing and show you so you can hear the increase in the gain. signal is just smashing into the front of that uh, that valve section now in the Laney amp. It's really pushing in there. We've still got more going to go. So. <laughs> But you can hear how much harmonics it's got in there. It's very harmonically rich. It's this beautiful interaction between your guitar signal and the valves that just make that really rippling, creamy distortion that everyone just, well, I really love it. And that's a lot of the sound a lot of guys are looking for is actually made in their amp, so. Now you might notice there's also a bass and treble knob at 12 o'clock. They both should be at unison, so they're not adding or taking away any bass or treble. And then if you turn them anti-clockwise, of course, it takes stuff out. If you turn them clockwise, it adds stuff in. Now, the beauty of this is, is that this can even add even more boost to your signal. <laughs> turned down I actually really like the sound of it just sort of leaves the mid sitting in there like I've got a tube screamer in front of the amp <laughs> my new favorite setting <laughs> so with the base of the treble at nine o'clock and the gain just sort of a little bit off three o'clock that really sounds like I'm sort of punching a tube screamer into the front of the amp <laughs> Pretty harsh with the treble up and the bass down. And of course, very muffled with the bass up and the treble down. They do sort of interact with each other a little bit. Tell you what, how good is this little lane here? <laughs> It's uh, absolutely terrific. still clean it right up in with the boost on. It's 
still clean it right up with your switch and your uh, volume knob? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well done, MXR. So there you go. That is the MXR micro amp. It looks like a very simple pedal, and I thought it was going to be a short video, but it's not. It worked out. It's going to be about 10 minutes anyway. Um, three knob boost slash line driver. It really is a micro amp. That's what it's called. It's a micro amp plus. Um, so yeah, like I said, I would use it this way to punch my guitar signal as hard as I can into the front of my valve amp. It will work with solid state amps as well and single ended amps um, to a point. Uh, but anyway, I hope this was useful to you if you're looking at just getting a little bit of extra grunt, um, you know, and push, getting some extra harmonics and distortion and overdrive out of your valve front end. This is a really, really excellent and compact way to, uh, you know, get your signal smashing into your amp. So anyway, I hope you found it useful. If you've got this far, thank you very much for clicking on that thumbnail. Give us a like, subscribe, thumbs up. Um, we really appreciate it. Everything you do really, really helps our little tiny channel. So um, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.